Wednesday, the 22nd of September, 2021, about 5.15 in the afternoon, 73 degrees in our Murchie. Temperature is supposed to go down to about 50 tonight. And this is the first day of autumn, 2021. So we could not let the first day of autumn go by without getting at least a short video. So we're going to go somewhere and get a short video. Tomorrow will be the first full day of autumn. And I hope to explore a recently discovered National Forest Road off of Georgia 136. So we'll see if we have time. We have a contractor coming to give Vicki an estimate on uh, countertops tomorrow. See if she can pick out something that she likes. And so we will just play it by ear like we normally do. Well, I'll turn it off now and wait till we find a place to video. We may go to Arrowhead Wildlife Management Area to video. That'd be nice. Okay, as you can see, um, the shadows are already, are already getting long in the afternoon. It's 523. Uh, this is the first day of autumn. And we're still on daylight savings time, but, um, you know, it's going to be getting dark a much quicker. So, we're going to need to finish up our videos a little bit earlier in the day so the shadows won't be so long. We are going to Arrowhead Wildlife Management Area. It's a nice wildlife management area that used to be a fish hatchery. And they maintain the ponds, the hatchery ponds, as the wildlife or as uh, waterfowl compounds. Also, they have hunting. I know uh, turkey hunting. I, I guess they allow deer hunting as well, but I'm not sure. This is the public access here. They also have a couple of lakes where fishing is allowed. I've seen um, great egrets. I've seen wood ducks. I've seen great blue heron. I've seen offspray. What else have I seen? Turkey. That's about all I have seen here. And this will just be a ride by. The, the uh, hatchery ponds are to the left. They have duck boxes out there. And they maintain the water level depending on what is best for the waterfowl. I think there are about nine ponds that they maintain for that. Um, there are trails that you can walk on. And this is also a uh, office for the Department of Natural Resources. And here you'll be able to see one of the hatchery ponds. Doesn't have a lot of water in it yet. Someone's out there, probably a wildlife management employee we will cut through the parking lot and then we will go to the fishing ponds. I think there's also an environmental education center here. Wildlife Resources Region 1 Office. This is on Floyd Springs Road, which is off of Georgia Highway 156. And if we had kept going, that would take us to the um, Johns Mountain Recreation Area, Johns Mountain Wildlife Management Area, several trails.
I guess you can fish this pond here. I'm not sure. It's a smaller pond. I call it a pond rather than a lake. You won't be able to see it that well with the sun shimmering on it. <coughs> We have parking here for the trails and I don't know if this is equestrian allowed or not. I don't think so. But I think you would park here. Let's see what these red signs are. They're new. Oh, okay. Unauthorized vehicles pro prohibited. Arrowhead Lake rules. So you can read those rules there. Put traffic only. Put tra traffic welcome, it says. Now this other road up here, we will stop before we get on the road. Um, it is for handicap access only. Of course, a lot of my friends will tell you I am mentally handicapped, <laughs> which is, I'm not going to argue that fact or that assertion. I won't argue it at all. I'll get out and get some uh, handheld video here. Okay, looking back into the sun towards the wildlife management area office. Looking out across this larger pond. This will be a lake here. I'll call this a lake. There's a bridge over there. There's a house over there. I'm assuming that's private property. But I don't know that for sure. A couple of nice dead trees over there. Going down a little further, I think there's some bathrooms. There's a shelter there. Maybe a picnic area. I think this is a relatively small wildlife management area. I think I've read where it's only about maybe 170 acres, something like that. Okay, I have not actually been to this part of Lake Arrowhead Wildlife Management Area before. This is the dam area of the lake, of the larger lake. And on the other side of the road here, you can tell there's a lake bed, which I again assume they keep water levels according to the needs of the waterfowl. Doesn't look like there's very little water in any in there right now. In the winter, I suspect there's more water for the ducks and stuff. Now this is the other side. The first pond up there doesn't have much water in it, but this second one up there and the third one both have plenty of water. And I think there are about eight or nine ponds in total going down through there, maybe 10 or 11. So that will pretty much wrap up and conclude our little brief video of Arrowhead Wildlife Management Area.